Hello and welcome back to another video on Inkscape. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at templates and how we can create our own custom templates. The example I'm going to be using is a 6x9 inch book. Um, I've got the measurements from KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. Stick with us and it will be explained. <laughs> So templates are just predefined documents with page size, guides, everything already in existence so you can get straight on with creating your content. The one I've got here, I've created for a six by nine inch book. I've got the measurements from KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing, and it just presets out all the elements of my page. So I've got a bleed margin around the outside. I've got the outside margin. I've got a gutter margin and I've got the safe area where I can put the content for the book. Um, I've also laid this out in layers so we can turn different elements on and off. We can get rid of our guides if we want to get rid of our guidelines. Um, if you don't know about guides click on the link above, watch the video and that'll explain all. So let's just take a quick look at KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. If we go over to Google I've put KDP in at the top and we've got uh, Kindle Direct Publishing is the first item that pops up. If we go down to the KDP uh, Help Center Home, in here you've got all the information you need. The bit we're interested in for this example is format your book. So we go paperback. We want to set uh, trim size and margins, so we click on that one. And you've got all the relevant information you need to calculate the size of your pages down here. For this example, I'm just going to use the diagram they've got here. They've got an example page already set up illustrating where the bleed margin is. Bleed is just if you want an image to go to the edge of a page, you overlap the image slightly. So when it's trimmed, you know that the, the image is going to reach the edge of the page. So with the measurements that we've got laid out here, we're going to create this right hand leaf of the book and turn it into an Inkscape template. Now let's get started in Inkscape. The first thing I'm going to do is get the units correct. At the moment this is in millimetres. Uh, for my book I want it in inches. So what I'm going to do is come up to the top here. I'm going to clip, click on the icon for document properties. I'm going to change the display units. I'm going to change that to inches. And down the bottom, I'm going to give us a checkered background so that we can see which parts of our design are transparent and which are opaque. So I think that'll do me for now. So let me just drag that over slightly so we can see what we're doing. So the next thing I want to do is just resize the page of our book. So to do this, I'm going to use the rectangle tool to draw out a rectangle the exact size of the page that I want. I'm going to open up if we go to object and down to transform if you don't know about the transform dialog box click on the link above you can watch the video and learn all about it. Um, what do we want? We want scale. So I'm going to change it from percentage I'm going to change it to inches. The size of the page I want is the outside page including the bleed which was 6.125 by 9.25. So we can press apply. So now this rectangle is the right size for our page. So I need to resize the page so it matches this rectangle. So I'm going to come up to edit. I'm going to come down to resize page to selection. And while my rectangle is selected, I'm going to click on this and it's just going to resize the page. So when we resize the page, the top left hand corner of the page is always at zero zero. So what it's done, it's moved that rectangle over. So the top left hand corner is zero zero, which comes in handy with knowing where we are when we're um, creating our measurements. So now we've got our page the right size. We've got a rectangle here already. I'm going to change the color of that rectangle. I'm going to change to, I think we give it a pinkish color. So the next step is to create our uh, trim size. So this is going to be the size of the page when it's trimmed. So we want this six by nine. So what I want to do is I'm going to press Control D to duplicate our page again. I'm going to change it to a grey this time. Then I'm going to come over to our measurements in our uh, transform box. I'm going to change it to six by nine. 
press apply and now we've got our rectangle the right size but what we do want to do is move this rectangle over so it's sitting on the center of our book so to do that i'm going to come up to the top i'm going to grab our align and distribute menu box and in here well, let's get our selection tool first i need to select both of the rectangles so because we want it to stay in the same position we can leave relative to still set to selection area and then i'm going to come down and i'm going to move everything over to the left edge so now we're neatly lined up so we've got our nice even uh, bleed trim width around the outside so the next step is to produce our safe area so i'm going to click off re-click on the the gray rectangle i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm going to turn my duplicate white so now we can come up go back to our transform box and now we can stick in the measurements we want for our safe zone the Amazon example that they provided, they actually got one of the measurements wrong. It should be, the width should be 5.125 and the height should be 8.5. So we'll apply this. So now we've got the actual size of our safe zone, right? We need it in the right position. So the way I'm going to do this, we know the width of the gutter margin. If we go back and look at our example, I'll zoom in a bit. We've got our gutter margin width down here, so 0.625. So if we come back, we can go to move and we don't want a relative move, so we turn that off. We want it absolute and we want to set that to 0.625. Press apply. And that's moved it into the right place. So now we've got the right width for our gutter margin and we've got our nice, neat margin around the outside. So this is the basis of our template. So what I'm going to do here so I'm going to click off, I'm going to drag over all of them. I'm going to press Control D to duplicate everything. Then with all of them still selected, I'm going to go up to Object. I'm going to come down to Objects to Guides. Click on those and that creates our guidelines. I'm going to lock those. I'm going to come up to this little lock in the top left hand corner. Click on that and that locks all our guides in place so we can no longer move them. I'm going to open up our layers dialog box now. So this, this little layers symbol at the, at the top. We click on that. We've got one layer already. Now this layer has all of our different coloured rectangles on, which I'm going to use as our um, guide to the different areas. So I'm going to change the name of that to guides. I'm going to add another layer. So this one's above the current. So this is going to be our content layer. So we'll add that. So I change the name of this one to content. Click back on the guides. I'm going to, sorry, add another layer. And this time I want the layer to be called white background. And I'm going to put it below the current layer. So we can add that. So at the moment we haven't actually got a background on our background layer. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. I'm going to snap to the top corner here and I'm going to drag it down and snap it to the bottom there. So now we have our background layer done. We can lock that. I'm going to turn our guides back on. Now I want to put some text in here just to make it clear exactly what all of the sections are. So we grab our text tool. So we need to move up to our guides layer. So in here, I'm just going to put cap locks on, so safe uh, zone, and we'll put right leaf. Over here, I want to put gutter to show where the centre of the book is. We want margin, and we want bleed. So. Now we can just deal with the elements individually. Actually, we just get our rotation. We'll spin that one round. I'm going to hold down control to constrain it to increments. Click on it again. I'm going to hold down control again to constrain proportions. And I can just make that a bit bigger. Bring it down. Safe zone. I'm not going to bother lining these up. I say this is only for the guide. I'll hold down control just to shrink down our bleed a little bit. And we'll bring that down. And we'll plonk it just in there. And then margin, I'll shrink slightly, holding down control again. 
and we can put margin in this one. So we move those over a bit, I think. So I think for the opacity, I'm just going to reduce the opacity slightly so it's not quite so strong. That'll do. I think that'll do me for the guides. So we can lock that. So now all we've got free unlocked is content. So this is now our completed uh, template. So as you can see, we can turn off the guide elements. Um, we can click on the rules to turn our guidelines on and off. Um, we've got a white background already in there. So all we need to do now is save it as a template. To do this, we want to come up. Actually, what we do is we get rid of some of these elements up here. So what I'm going to do to save it is I'm going to come up to File. I'm then, then going to come down and Save Template. So in Name, we can save it under whatever name you want. So KDP um, 6 times 9 right with, with Bleed. Won't worry about the author. So in Description, I've already created a little description and copied it just to speed things up. So I'm just going to paste that in. I think in keywords, I'm just going to put six by nine. You've got a box down here set as default template. So if you tick this, when you uh, open up Inkscape, that would be the template that's shown. So we'll leave that one blank. So now we've got our information that we want in there. We can press save. So now we've got it saved. We can actually come up to file, come down to new from template. So in here, we got our list of templates. We can scroll down. We've got our KDP 6x9 right with bleed. So we can click on this. This is the description that I put in. So we've got all the relevant information that we want there. Then we can create our document. So here's our finished product. We've got everything we need to create pages for our book now. So here I've created the right leaf. We can do exactly the same with the left leaf. All you need to do is flip it over and do it the other way around and then put your guidelines in. So that's how to create your own templates. The last thing I just want to quickly go over is if you've created templates and you no longer want them, is how to delete the templates. If you come up to file and down to new from template, there's no way of deleting your templates. So to delete a template, all you need to do is go up to edit, come down to preferences, you can, of course, go up to the top here. You've got a preference button at the top as well. Um, you want to go down to system, click on system. And then down here, you've got a little list of different items. So here we've got user templates. So these are templates that you've created. If we go along and click on open, this pops up the templates that you've created. And all you've got to do is go in here and delete the templates that you don't want. And that will cure it when you restart Inkscape. They no longer be there in the um, drop down menu. So that's, I think, all I want to cover in this video. Uh, hopefully it's been helpful. If you've got any questions, leave them below in the comments and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.